Last week, Kalinga Tattoo Artist and the Ngal ng Haraya Award for Intangible Cultural Heritage Awardee Apo Wang Od found herself in the social media spotlight over a course that she may or may not have given full consent to. Wang Od, a 104-year-old traditional tattoo artist of the Butbut tribe, was featured in a 750 peso NAS Academy course that promised to, quote, reveal all the rituals, tools, and methods for making traditional tattoos. Cool, right? Not really. Grace Palikas, Wang Od's grandniece and a tattoo artist herself, called the course a scam. A quick segue, what's NAS Academy? It's a digital learning platform founded by this guy, Nusir Yassin, a 29-year-old Palestinian Israeli best known for minute-long videos under his vlog, Nas Daily. We'll hear more about him later, but for now, back to the main story. Grace said her grand-aunt did not sign any contract. She also said Wang Od did not understand translators who were with the Nas Academy team. Grace has since deleted these Facebook posts, but in a Facebook group, she said, Some people are taking advantage of our culture. Please help us stop this disrespect to the legacy of Apo Wang Od and the Butbut tribe. NAS Academy a day later would deny Grace's allegations and show a video of what appears to be Wang Od affixing her thumbprint onto a contract. According to NAS Academy, this signified Wang Od's full consent to the project. But it's not that simple. According to University of the Philippines Anthropology Professor Nestor Castro, since Wang Od comes from the Butbut tribe of Kalinga, consent needs to come not just from Wang Od, but other members of her tribe. The National Commission on Indigenous Peoples Cordillera is now looking into the contract. This is what Regional Director Marlon Bosantog had to say. Bandying on social media a contract is not a proof of compliance. The Wang Od course has since been taken down from the NAS Academy page, but the incident has sparked a whole different discussion on Facebook. After Grace denounced the course as a scam, Luis Mabulo of the Cacao Project shared what had apparently been a bad experience with Nusir in 2019. In a Facebook post, she claimed Nusir only wanted content and rejected the Cacao Project and her story for not being, quote, clickable. Nusir has since retaliated with his own lengthy Facebook post calling Luis's allegations as online falsehoods. Their barbs have spawned a new issue of its own, but we'll let you explore that on your own time. Back to the main story. After putting the course down, NAS Academy announces that they're pausing Philippine operations. Miss Universe 2018 Catriona Gray, who was set to launch the Catriona Gray Academy under them, also paused her project. And Nusir? Nas Daily, his main Facebook page, lost over half a million followers the same day Grace called him out. His Philippine-oriented page, Nas Daily Tagalog, at the same time gained 28,000 followers. I guess everyone wants the tea. But on a serious note, more than being another episode of tea spilling, shade throwing, and bardahan on the internet, the criticism and backlash against Nas Academy's would-be Wang Od course draws attention to a bigger issue. How we treat, respect, or disrespect the Philippines' indigenous tribes, and how some people profit from their culture. <laughs>